Who should play next to Tyler Adams and Weston McKinney? When Greg Berhalter took over the USMNT in 2019, he set the team up in a 4-3-3 with a deep-lying playmaker and two box-to-box -box number eights. This setup played to the strengths of players like Michael Bradley and Will Trapp. However, in recent months, as Berhalter has turned towards younger players, he's had to tweak his tactics to better suit the high-pressing, hyper-athletic, and ultra-aggressive nature of this new crop of Americans. This means that no longer does the midfield sit back in a mid-to-low block and soak up pressure when defended. Instead, they now step up high and press all over the field. Perhaps most importantly though, the six no longer is required to spray long diagonals, but rather is now tasked with passing and moving up the pitch in concert with two midfielders in front of him. This change has allowed Tyler Adams to make the number six spot his own and Weston McKenney to lock down one of the two number eight positions. That third and final spot of this trio though is still very much up for grabs. The most obvious choice, of course, is Yunus Musa. Musa is perfectly suited for the fluid interchanging 4-3-3 we saw from the team in November. And while a McKenney, Musa, and Adams trio would not set the world alight with draw-dropping passes or spectacular dribbling sequences, they would take care of the ball, boss the midfield, and act as absolute rocks defensively. However, Burhalter may not have Musa at his disposal if the young Valencia midfielder decides to play for England instead of the USMNT. Fortunately, if Musa does decide to join England, all hope is not lost, as Burhalter could easily play Gio Reyna alongside Adams and McKenney. If Burhalter were to do this though, Adams and McKenney would need to pick up some of Reyna's defensive slack to let the Dortmund midfielder focus more on creating chances. Additionally, the trio would not be able to play as free-flowing as they would with Musa. But this is a small sacrifice in order to bring some much-needed creativity to the team via Reyna's superb dribbling and inventive passing. It's likely, though, that Burhalter will want to keep Reyna out wide, where he will have little to no defensive responsibility. In which case, Burhalter might throw Brendan Aronson into the mix. Aronson's game sits somewhere between Musa and Reyna's. Not as defensively solid as Musa, but more offensive, while being more defensive than Gio, but less creative. When looking at the qualities that each of these three young options bring, it's impossible to say who is the right choice. But if your biggest selection headache is which Champions League level player you should slot into your lineup, then it's safe to say things are looking pretty good for the USMNT.